guys, it's Todd from Like-Minded Lunatics bringing you, yeah, like it or not, it's another drink place where it's all we do around here. I mean, besides like being in high school, trying to figure out how to talk to girls and asking them what their sign was. <laughs> it's all we've ever really done around here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Drink Place Swear and welcome back to Like-Minded Lunatics. You know that Like-Minded Lunatics, you know that it's not just me here at Drink Place Swear. No, it's not. It's also my buddy Mark Gifford, co-founder of Like-Minded Lunatics. Bang! Doing the Friday night videos, doing the heavy lifting around here. His content is the best stuff on the channel, so check that out if you're not doing so already. And bang! Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already so we can see how big this family of like-minded weirdos, degenerates, runaways, and ne'er-do-wells is getting. And yes, it gets bigger every day and we're grateful for that. Okay, so what is it we do here at Drink Place Where? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. We play a game, usually a classic one, pair it with a beverage. And yeah, I talk a little bit, don't I? Well, we talk a little bit. I hope that you feel like it's us talking and not just me talking at you. We play a game, we have a beverage, and we tell a story. What's the game today? It's Mega Man 3 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Great game, hard game. I, I don't play a ton of the Mega Man games on here because they're so hard and it's so hard to play them while talking. Uh, but they're great games, so let's give it a try. You can watch me stink at a game like this. What are we doing here today? That's right, different kind of beverage. My wife had these left over from uh, Super Bowl. Uh, she bought good beer, so I actually have good beer in the house right now. Uh, this is the El Grito Lager from Four Corners Brewing out in Dallas. Up in Dallas? Back in Dallas? I don't know how to describe it. It's in Dallas. Get yourself something. Let's have a good time. Yeah, I cracked it uh, while I was setting up here. So I've already had a sip or two. Get yourself something and catch up. Here we go with Mega Man 3. I mean, one thing that is so remarkable about Mega Man games is that there, it, it's Capcom, right? So the music is just over and over really good. Let me have a sip of beverage while you soak in this music. All right, now I haven't played Mega Man 3 in at least three years, if not more, but I have played a couple of Mega Man games on the channel. I played Mega Man 2 before, I played Mega Man X, so we'll figure it out. One thing about Mega Man 3 is, look, they added the slide. Check this out. Yeah, the slide. Mega Man even looks like he's having fun. He opens his mouth there. All right, I don't remember uh, this level at all, so you're gonna have to forgive me if I stink at this game. Uh, the only prep I did for today is I googled boss order for Mega Man 3 so that I would have a chance at at least getting to a boss with you, and Google said Magnet Man. So that's, that's what I'm going with, and that's all the prep I've had. Let's get started on the story, and then we'll play some more Mega Man. We'll get into the actual game here. What do I want to talk about today in terms of the story? Well, I was thinking the other day about the fact that I have not talked about the Zodiac on the channel before. And when I grew up, my mom was really devoted to the ideas of the Zodiac and to horoscopes, right? And so I thought it'd be fun to talk about those a little bit today. Um, now, I am a Pisces, okay? Now, <laughs> do I think that means anything? The answer is complicated. Growing up, my mother believed heavily in the Zodiac and that me being a Pisces meant something very specific. Just like her being a Taurus meant something very specific and my father being a Leo meant ver something very specific. She told me that as a Pisces, I was creative. I was uh, full of empathy. I would probably, uh oh, look at this. It's like a crazy mid-boss. I think this guy comes back again and again throughout the game. And I'm going to stink at him, as I already made clear with you. But my mom told me all kinds of things about who I was based on the fact that I was a Pisces. And it informed well, her thoughts on me. And, uh, you know, when you do encounter people... There we go. We got past him. When you encounter people who heavily believe in the Zodiac, they will often ask what month you were born in because they want to kind of... Like, it informs... Uh, for them, something about you. 
And so you go, okay, well, it, does this stuff even matter, right? As a critical thinking uh, adult human being, does this stuff matter? Well, what are the origins of this idea of the Zodiac, okay? Well, the ancient Greeks talked about the Zodiac quite a lot, didn't they? They said, as below, so, or excuse me, as above, so below, right? Meaning like what goes on in the stars uh, also happens down here, okay? Well, we typically think the ancient Greeks knew quite a lot about things like argument and reasoning and philosophy. So you go, okay, well, the ancient Greeks bought into it. And you also think, well, okay, at the heart of astrology is an interest in mathematics. And I believe in math, math right? Whether I'm good at it or, or not, I believe in it. So, okay, maybe there's some legitimacy there. And yes, whether your parents are intelligent people or not, when you grow up, you trust them. It's okay. So the Zodiac has the ancient Greeks, math, and my mom behind it so naturally i'm gonna i'm gonna trust it and i'm gonna think that there's something to it right well my dad did not trust it and did not uh you know think that it had any merit and i look back on my childhood and i'm actually so grateful dead so grateful that my parents were so different and they had such different ideas about the world my dad not particularly religious my mom devoutly lutheran my dad, a sort of business first Republican. My mom, what she called a yellow dog Democrat, meaning if a yellow dog was running for office, she'd still vote for it as long as it was a D next to his name. And yes, my mom uh, devoted to the Zodiac and the ideas that we can know something about each other based on when we were born within a year. And my dad, not at all. My mom was a Taurus, okay? And my dad was a Leo, which supposedly means they're not supposed to be able to get along. And I have to say, <laughs> they did fight often. And so when I was a kid, I subscribed to this idea that perhaps they had trouble getting along because of their zodiac signs. Because you see, a Taurus and a Leo, they're both strong personalities. They both want to be in charge. And so they have trouble deferring. Well, I saw that in my parents for sure. Um, one story that uh, supports that is this, uh, the cake incident of 1990, okay? I'm nine years old and uh, my mom is making a brand new style of cake, okay? A cake she hasn't made before and she's using the Betty Crocker cookbook or whatever. And one note it says on the recipe is that you should not walk around and stomp around in the kitchen while this cook is baking, or, excuse me, while this cake is baking uh, or it might not rise properly, okay? So my mother tells me and my dad, you guys uh, can't go in the kitchen while this thing is baking. And it's only 20 minutes or whatever, so get what you need now and, and don't go in there. Well, it's the don't go in there that my dad doesn't like because he wants to try this cake just as much as any of us do. We don't like to be told what to do, see? And my mom would uh, chalk this up to his Leo personality. Okay. But anyway, in real life, whether Zodiac is real or not, in real life, my dad didn't want to be told what to do. And he said, uh, okay, well, listen, you could ask me nicely not to go in the kitchen. You're not going to be telling me you may not. Right? And then she said explicitly, you may not go in that kitchen. So what did my dad do immediately? But go into that kitchen stomp his feet in a sort of like humoristic way like he's in the three stooges or something only with a mean face like he's mo right <laughs> and get himself a beer here's to that you may not famous story in my family and again my mom chalked it up to the taurus and leo conflict all right you get older and you start wondering, does all this stuff mean anything? And I have to say, the older I get, the more I realize that genetics has a lot more to do with your personality than anything. I mean, yes, I'm a Pisces and yes, I do happen to be creative. And yes, I do think that I uh, try to solve problems in kind of a different way than other people. But listen, in my older age, I have gotten more pragmatic because I have to. 
and I have gotten more forceful in my uh, attitudes and in my opinions um, because I'm just like an older gr grizzled dude, right? And so you start wondering, does this stuff even really mean anything? Can it help us know anything? And so, you know, one conclusion you could come to pretty quickly is no, it doesn't matter. But I gotta tell you, part of me still does devote some kind of attention to the Zodiac. I mean, when I meet someone, to this day, as a guy who's got a master's degree and it has a, a, a mortgage and a car payment and is more pragmatic and not particularly religious, I would think that I wouldn't uh, give it any stop. And yet, when I meet someone, I do want to know when they were born. <laughs> and when I'm on their, I'm on, the, I'm, a, I'm a new friend of theirs, and I'm on the social media. I check to see if they've posted their birthday because I want to know what month they were born. And when my wife was pregnant with our two children, I was curious as to exactly what month they were going to be born, and I did immediately wonder what that corresponded to with the Zodiac. Okay, so my daughter is an 11-year-old Gemini. My son is a five-year-old Pisces. And for those of you who devote some sort of attention to the Zodiac, you just made decisions about who you think my kids are. And isn't that weird? <laughs> isn't that interesting? All right, we're going to wrap up here. I did not get to a boss. No, you see where I am here in the game? I'll just show you real quick. Look at this. This is a nightmare. And it's also timed. Uh, oh, my God. I would have to practice this for hours to get good at it. And I'm just, just listen to it for a second while I work on my beer. If you're an old school gamer, uh, that sound, uh, like reverberates in your nightmares because <laughs> these games are just so damn hard all right that's all i got for you today um the zodiac you know who's to say i don't know i'm not an expert but i do have to admit that I, th this pendulum swing of nah it's bullshit and well actually it kind of makes sense to me is probably gone on throughout my entire life so far and will uh, go on for the rest of it. So, in between now and the next time I talk to you, I'm uh, Todd Wright, Pisces. See you. <laughs>